you're going to be a big sister. You're going to have a baby brother and a baby sister. You don't mind, you'll do it. Yeah. You, are you going to accept the job? Yeah. Unfortunately, it might be for another few years, though. Yeah. Okay. Because you're still number one. I'm number four. You're number four? Yeah. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we are going to head to the gym. Not me and Robin, because Robin, obviously, since the last video, does not like the gym. So... I'm gonna go train um, a delts and arm session with one of my online clients, Sam. Before that, I must drop the queen of the house up to her mother where she is working, get my car washed, cleaned, nice and fresh for the weekend, and go basically hit a delts and arm session, and then gonna talk what shows I am going doing this year and how many. Um, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this vlog. So anything to say to the vlog? Mm. 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 What? I really don't know how to do it. Okay. I always lose with games. Okay. I've no, I've no idea what you're on about. Ah! What's up? What's up? What's up? You just made me lose. Just come on, me. Isn't it weird how just kids just grow up like one minute? Literally, Robin was couldn't even walk, talk, barely even crawl, and now she just tells me to go away all the time. And she literally like, I'm in the gym, and I get an email saying, um, "Robin Fitzgerald has downloaded this game." That's when I know I feel so old. Robin's gone to her mom's. I got my eyebrows done off Aoife and oh I actually didn't even mean to burp um so I'm gonna burp again so I just got my pre-workout meal in there so as you see I just love um uh, pink Himalayan salt I have it on every meal especially my pre-workout meal just to get the pumps right during the gym so we're gonna go head to the gym is it don't fucking miss by trained by JP me and my online client Sam and we're just gonna basically hit delts and arms Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Probably just gonna show more like the top sets, then sit down, basically tell you what shows I'm gonna do, tell you about my future, how many more kids I'm gonna have, how many more, more dogs I'm gonna get. Just gonna chat absolute shit. Welcome back. Yeah, we've been gone for so long, now we're coming home. Welcome back. So I'm literally just outside of the new lab and I have to drive past the old lab like every single day because it's literally like two seconds away from my house. He's sitting outside this lab. I just like experienced like a, just a wave of imposter syndrome. Sometimes I really do think I'm like, how the fuck did I land myself here? Like I'm really like, how am I here at this moment? It is absolutely insane. Every time like I pull up outside, every time I walk in, I'm kind of like, like I turn to Aoife some nights and I'd be like, I just absolutely don't know how I'm even here. Um, it's just that, that, that bit of imposter syndrome literally coming out. I'm driving past like the old gym in Ate, I really kind of like, I really appreciate that place. I drive past it every day and that's where we started and, and look where we are now. Like you can hear, probably hear the music in the background. We have Unit 2 coming there soon. Um, but that is for a secret project that I have coming up in the next YouTube video. Um, I have another very, very secret project coming up in a t its 12 to 24 month project. It is something to do with my hometown, um, not Newcastle West. It is something to do with um, my hometown, Tralee. So it is a secret project, but pulling up here, man, and, and just really just... just seeing people in there, music blaring, you know, door opened. Like it's, 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 sometimes I wonder like, like how, how the fuck did I get her? It, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, things just happened so, so fast, but you know, I can nearly get emotional even talking about it. That's how much the fucking, sorry, poor person. That's how much the lab just absolutely means to me and how much, you know, where, People look at it now, but every time I look at it, it's just a, it's just a beginning for me because I never want it to end. I don't want this journey to end. I don't want the end product 
I know that'd be a sad day for me. I want to keep on expanding, growing, 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 and just, just really just having a gym just full of machines. So enough with this talk. I'm gonna go in, take some pre-workout, see how all the coaches are getting on, see how the gym is getting on, see how my clients getting on, see how the members are getting on, and train them at sand. All right, guys. So when we're looking into why raises. We want to get the motion of dragging up and not using like explosive power or momentum because momentum destroys this. So when we're doing a wire raise, we have to align like our fist in line with the table. The way I said the clients is just think of, of the letter Y. I do this just to warm up and get the delts into a good position before we go Smith machine. Shoulder pressing. Who are you laughing at? I don't know. <laughs> Nine, good. Push. Ten, keep it up, come on. Up. We are moving on to a rest pause set. This is seen more like an, an extended set after our shoulder press swim machine. So what we're gonna do is 15 reps, 20 seconds break, 10, 20 break, and 20 seconds break, six. And we're gonna do it on the Cybex. I prefer the more neutral grip. Um, as I can just get a better alignment and I don't have that strain in my shoulder when I'm using the other grip. With this, just like I said, it's just that extended set. Just one set of it. Basically our main our main focus is keeping the time short so we can go to failure. So halfway during our actually nearly finish or finish with some isolation work into a dance arms we're going into a superset of like lying cuff laterals straight into standing cuff laterals it used to be a superset where we go lying cuff laterals into y into standing but now we're just going to go literally lying cuff into standing then we're finishing off with a bit of bicep this is literally how the fisheries spend their family there so we have Aoife and then we have Robin, all doing our cardio. Six weeks out from the show, Aoife's getting summer body ready. Robin's just losing her baby fat. When would you like a brother or sister? Um, both. No, when? Next year? Next year. Yeah, see? On this topic, this is like the lab op office. Uh, oh! <laughs> You okay? So we are gonna go for a baby next year, January 2024. Like two years off prep. Yeah. You're hilarious. Two years off prep. You wanna be carrying it, so. Yeah. So the plan is that two years off prep next year, we we'll, we're gonna decide to go for a baby. Hopefully the house will be finished by next year. And then I have some secret projects, but I want to go into after this prep is just kind of go down a bit of the clothing line for the lab and other and other more projects. But Aoife has promised us another baby next year. I love how you had it all planned out for me, like. Yeah. We're having another girl. So is Dan. More tell the credit done. Oh, yes. What's the, what's the hole over there? That's a secret hole. What is it? I don't know. As who, Dan, who more, just did that hole? Can I talk to the camera, please? Just who do the hole? Was it Podge, a, Podge did that hole. Oh. I don't and know who, if Little has closed in there, what is going on? What? And who break the window? Podge. Podge. And Podge put a hole through the roof. And Podge put a hole through the roof. Alright, as I say, and as the creative Dan always says, just leave him hanging at the end of the YouTube.